what a great day here at North Dakota today. <laughs> mm -hmm. As we send our kids off to school, we trust that they are in good hands. And in one school district, a bus driver created a lasting bond with his students as he drove to and from school each day. Steve Hartman and his kids introduce us to the power of enthusiasm. Take a look. Good morning. This is my daughter, Meryl. Hi. We couldn't be more enthusiastic for our lesson on enthusiasm. And for a definition, let's go over to your brother Emmett at the dictionary desk. Emmett. Enthusiasm is like a special kind of joy that fills you with energy to do something. Perfect. Have you guys ever heard of Ralph Waldo Emerson? No. Never? No, it doesn't ring a bell for me. Oh, like, where's Waldo? No, no, not where's Waldo. <laughs> this is a guy that wore, I think he wore a different shirt every day, and he was also a writer, too. Oh. Emerson once said, nothing great is ever achieved without enthusiasm. And he's right. Enthusiasm is crucial to success. And if you want definitive proof, Look no further than our library of living life lessons and this story about a man with a busload of enthusiasm. You can see why someone might hate being a school bus driver. The early hours, when the weather sours, the abundance of responsibility combined with the absence of eyes in the back of your head. Yeah, have a good day! Nevertheless, Curtis Ooh. Jenkins loves really? delivering these little ones really? to Lake Highlands Elementary in Dallas, Texas. Yes. Emily Grunninger is the principal. He goes way beyond the outline responsibilities and duties of a bus driver. I mean, that bus is like a family. These are my children. These are my community. I love them all to establish community. What's your job, man? He starts by giving everyone responsibility. This is one of the police officers. It's an elaborate flow chart. She's administrative assistant to she's the president. She's administrative assistant to yeah, the president. She's, yeah. Everyone working together to build a yellow bus utopia. Yeah. And we're gonna care about each other and we're gonna love everybody, right? I put time, effort, love, care, understanding, understanding each and every one of those kids. Omar. To show his love and understanding, hey, Chief. Curtis gives presents throughout the year. You say you like baseball. Each gift personally selected with that child in mind. He gave this girl a t-shirt Her first book with a like picture really from a book she made. I'm hoping this t-shirt inspire her to keep on writing books. Over the years, he has bought these kids bikes, backpacks, handed out cards on birthdays, and even turkeys at Thanksgiving. He has spent thousands out of his own pocket. And yet, if you ask the kids what they like most about Curtis, the gifts don't even come up. He really cares about us, is really kind, and he helps anyone in need. Ethan Engel is a fifth grader. It means a lot to you. Yeah. He says the bus ride is often the best part of his day. My mom got divorced when I was only four. I'll see you tomorrow. He's the father that I always wanted. In some ways, I just, I wish my dad could have been like that. We make the mistake sometimes of thinking certain jobs are more important than others. I know. But Curtis proves with a little enthusiasm, right, bye -bye. you can make any job important. Bye -bye. A lot has happened since we first told that story. And joining us now to tell us about it, Curtis Jenkins. Hello, how you doing, Steve? We're doing great. Do you still drive a bus? I don't drive a bus at this time. I was promoted. You were promoted? Yes, teaching other bus drivers. So you began teaching other bus drivers how to be like Curtis Jenkins? Yes, some of them didn't have to do too much. <laughs> it was a great opportunity for me to show the enthusiasm that I had with the kids and give it to someone else. Sounds like a good job. It does sound like a good job. Are you still talking to the kids that were on your bus route? Yeah, I go to the school frequently and I see those kids. Those kids are very, very, very dear to my heart. Uh, Ethan, he's going to the ninth grade now. Actually, we stood up a little lunch date, me and him and his mom. In your opinion, do you think that people can make themselves feel enthusiastic about something? You can make this up because you know what? Any job that you get, you can find some type of joy. Everybody can find purpose in everything that they do. I'm just grateful that you've decided to dedicate yourself to children. So thank you so much. And thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And thank you, too. Yeah, thank you, too. Thank you, Curtis. What a dedication of service. Not me crying. I know. Right? <laughs>
That was a heart, like a, ooh, a tearjerker. That I was, mean, an that incredible update to that story. And I'm convinced Steve Hartman might have one of the best jobs on the planet. Yeah. For real? To just go on the road and get to tell all of these heartwarming, feel-good stories that are literally making people cry. And shout yeah. out to Emmett that said that Curtis was like a father figure to him. That's just oh. astounding. That literally made me right in the feels. tear up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to appreciate bus drivers, teachers. You and do. it's sad right now with all the shortages. So hopefully this might inspire some folks to, to jump in and, and be a good role model for kids. You never know. Well, you know they're all working really hard. This is a really good example of sometimes we you just go about our lives and do our things and forget all these people along the way that are helping us and holding us up and doing great things in our lives. And say thank you to somebody today. Yeah. And that wasn't too much motivation for you. <laughs> we have your daily dose up next. <laughs>